School of the Arts. How about that choir? Didn't they do a fantastic job? And if you're a member of the choir, you're going to be doing that fantastic job real soon too. And if you're an instrumentalist, you're going to be playing. And if you're a dancer, you're going to be dancing. And if you're an actor, you're going to be on stage. And if you're a fine artist, you're going to be behind an easel real soon. Because we're back, folks. My name is Mr. Vecciano, and I'm the principal of Brooklyn High School of the Arts. And I'm excited to welcome you back to our on-campus, real-life, instruction starting on September 13th at 8.30 a.m. It's been a while. I know many of you haven't been in our school in quite some time. So I know you're very excited and you got some concerns too and some questions. And I know many of you expressed those questions during orientations and things like that. So the reason we're doing this virtual homecoming is so that you can get some of those answers ahead of time. Uh, all of our assistant principals will be joining us very shortly. They're going to talk about things like safety and security and COVID. They're going to talk about how we're going to keep ourselves safe inside the school building. They're going to talk about mask wearing because that's part of our reality. They're going to talk about the fact that you can get a vaccine right in our school starting on September 13th, the day we come back to school. And if that's something you and your parents wish, then you'll be able to do that right at our school building, right in the nurse's office. So they're going to talk about that. They're going to talk about our academic program, which is fantastic and we've had the greatest success even during remote instruction greatest success wonderful graduation rate over 95 percent of our students in 2021 graduated high school how about that that's well above the citywide average so we're real excited about that too and we know you're going to as well so uh, lots of great things they're going to discuss academics ap all the things that you uh, have questions about there we're going to talk about the arts instruction and everything I just mentioned and all the things you might need and supplies and all the things that uh, uh, I know you've had questions about, but really all our assistant principals are going to talk about the most important thing. You're coming back and we're very excited about that. As you can plainly tell, we're real excited to have you back. It's been a long time. So come September 13th, we expect you in our school at 8.30 a.m. You want to come early, come early. Breakfast is served at 7.45 uh, and we're really excited to have you back. Most importantly, if we don't answer your question today or we don't answer your concern today, please reach out to us. My door, as you know, if you've been in the school already and if you're new to the school, you'll learn my door is always open to you. There's always a bucket of candy sitting there waiting and hopefully a an answer to your question. So if you have, you just come right in. We have a very, very welcoming environment in our school and I think that's one of the things that has kept us going through these last two school years and it's one of the things that will keep us moving forward as we return to our school building in just about a week. Okay, so um, I wish you the best for the rest of your summer, the, the few days that you have left. I hope you enjoy them. I hope they're bright and sunny like today is, and I hope you have a great couple of days off, and then we ex expect nothing but the best as we return on Monday, September 13th at 8.30 a.m. Have a great, great rest of your week, and again, if you have any other questions or comments, we're always here for you. Okay, we'll see you soon. 
Thank you, Principal Vecchiano. My name is Frank Proudfoot, and I am the Assistant Principal of the Arts at Brooklyn High School of the Arts. And I could not be more excited to get this school year underway, to get students back in this building, to bring parents back to the building for the amazing events that we'll have planned for you this year. Now, in the arts, we will be centrally focused on finding joy and resiliency in doing the things that we love. That means singing, dancing, and performing, uh, and painting, all of the amazing art forms that we have available here at Brooklyn High School of the Arts. And I'm really excited about the idea of getting back to some normalcy. And that means we'll be back in the studios working with live instruction with our teachers. Of course, there will be proper safety protocols in effect. And so I'm thrilled that we're going to be able to provide a supportive and safe environment for students to do the things that they love and to really find that joy again here at Brooklyn High School of the Arts. Um, as far as our events go, our plan right now is to have the concerts again and to have the shows again uh, and the dance show and uh, the art show and all of the amazing and cool events uh, that make Brooklyn High School the Arts really what it is in this great and wonderful, wonderful environment. Um, so uh, I'll be back in a little bit to answer some of the questions that were pre-submitted to us from our students and from our parents. Uh, but in the meantime, I would like to turn it over to my colleague, Dr. Quinlan, the Assistant Principal of Humanities and Guidance. Thank you and have a great day. Hi, Broken Arts students. This is Assistant Principal Dr. Quinlan. Uh, I'm in charge of Humanities and Guidance. We are all so excited to see you come back to full in-person learning uh, starting September 13th. Uh, your teachers, administrators, counselors, school support staff, custodians, everyone in the building will be getting ready to welcome you back to finally, finally, feels like forever, uh, getting everyone back in the building for full in-person learning. So this is super, super exciting. Um, all of you, uh, I should say all incoming freshmen should have received, and our new sophomores should have received a personalized e uh, email from me. Uh, with your pupil path instructions. So please make sure you register. Register on a laptop or computer first, and then you could download your app uh, so you could see your uh, program, which will be released very, very soon to see all your awesome teachers you'll be spending time with uh, this school year and getting to know and, and learning a lot from. Uh, so uh, obviously pupil path, you'll have your program. That's where you'll get your grades and communications with teachers. Your parents will be uh, a part of that too. And uh, it's a really, really great tool for you to kind of be in the loop and uh, stay on top of uh, your grades and progress as we get back to full in-person learning. Um, another thing uh, with the programs, I mean, everything is like 99.9% .9 accurate and exactly what you need for progress to graduation. If you see something that uh, doesn't look right, uh, I'll be emailing out a, a program correction form. It's a Google form. You must fill out that form. Do not uh, run to your counselor's office. They will not entertain program requests. So please fill out the form. Uh, we'll do our best to process it as soon as uh, we can. It'll come, uh, it'll be completed in the order in which it's received. Um, no cafeteria lunch requests with friends, no changing teachers, none of that stuff. It's really only a class is missing because you want to take it in college. That's particularly for uh, juniors and seniors, or it's a class you've already taken. That's a duplicate. But again, we've, we've done a good job uh, going through all that stuff. Um, and that's really it. And you'll also, you obviously, if you're watching this, you have your Brooklyn Arts Gmail account, which is a lot of where our communications goes through. So uh, you'll be getting your Google Classroom uh, classes from your teachers. Uh, but remember, this is, it's full in-person learning. So you'll be changing classes, you'll be engaging in, in group work and, uh, you know, actual lessons, real in-person lessons from your teachers. So although there may be times during the school year where we may have to revert hopefully not a lot, to Google Classroom. Um, it's an important tool that I think that teachers will continue to use because I know a lot of you uh, gave feedback that you you like the aspect of Google Classroom and it's obviously, it's, it's going green, it saves paper. And it's a nice way to keep everything in, in one spot. Um, so without further ado, I'm gonna introduce my colleague, Assistant Principal, Ms. Tiffany Rodriguez, uh, our brand new, awesome Assistant Principal of STEM and Physical Education Health. Um, so I'm going to pass it on to her and I look forward to seeing you uh, all on September 13th. Make sure you stay high. I'm up in room 210, right down the hall from Ms. Rodriguez, who is in room 219. Okay, Ms. Uh, Ms. R, take it away. 
Thank you, Dr. Quinlan, for such a nice introduction. Good morning, family, friends, faculty, and of course, students of Brooklyn High School of the Arts. My name is Tiffany Rodriguez, and I am excited to be welcoming you here for the 2021 school year. We have a lot of fun things planned and in store for us for this year. If you have any questions, please feel free to stop by my office, room 219. I am excited for this school year to begin, and I hope you are too. Without further ado, I would like to introduce our Assistant Principal of Student Affairs, Mr. White. Thank you, Ms. Rodriguez. Hi, I'm Brian White. I'm an Assistant Principal of Brooklyn High School of the Arts. I handle health, safety, and discipline, uh, IEP and service-related questions, 504 requests, transportation concerns, daily attendance. But what I'd like to talk to you about is our layered strategy to stay safe. Uh, wearing masks, keeping physically distant, proper ventilation, keeping our hands and our spaces clean, uh, complying with the city's vaccine mandate, getting tested, and using our common sense. Masks are required to be worn everywhere inside the building, regardless of your vaccination status. A mask should cover your nose and your mouth. There are several types of face coverings which are not permitted, bandanas and neck gaiters, face coverings with the exhalation hole, uh, face coverings that comply, that completely cover or hide your face, uh, such as a ski mask and clear face shields, which may only be worn if accompanied by a mask. Uh, students may take off their masks under limited circumstances during the school day. Uh, students can take their masks off when they're actively eating in the cafeteria. There is no eating in any classrooms. Students may take their masks off in the courtyard and remain socially distant. And students may take their mask off if they ask their teacher for a mask break. Mass breaks will not occur inside the classroom. Uh, students will be asked to go to designated areas with a time limit uh, that teachers will tell them each time they request a mask break. Um, you have to wear your school ID all of the time. We're all wearing masks. It is extremely important that we know who is in our building. This will be a point of emphasis at Brooklyn High School of the Arts. If you do not have your uh, ID at morning entry, one will be printed up for you, but it will delay your entry. And you also uh, must remember to please put it on if you're asked um, by a staff member immediately. Uh, physical distance is going to be three feet where available. Uh, we understand that it's not always possible, but three feet is the standard. Um, in the hallways, students should help us be social distant um, by not standing still, by not using their electronic devices, and of course, taking the shortest path to their next class. All classrooms have two air purifiers. Windows will remain open when possible. Uh, and of course, we need to keep our hands clean. Uh, we need to wash using soap and water whenever possible uh, and taking advantage of the hand sanitizer and disinfectant wipes that are available throughout the school. Vaccinations, uh, please note all DOE employees, including, including school-based staff, are required to be vaccinated. Uh, the city also recommends every eligible human being to do the same. Uh, we also ask, uh, as the city has asked us, to have you consent to have your children tested. Uh, all students will receive a paper copy of this consent and can return it to me or to any staff member. You can also do this digitally uh, through the New York City School account. Uh, it may become uh, necessary to quarantine, uh, depending on whether or not we have a positive COVID-19 test. If that is the case, uh, we will let you know who needs to quarantine. We will do so uh, via email, via phone. Uh, and in person, depending on the time that we are notified by the city uh, that someone has tested positive. You will also get written information if you were required to quarantine, which will also let you know when you may return as well. Just some first day reminders. Uh, the first day of school, we will be entering through four different locations. Each student will receive an email uh, that will have uh, everybody listed alphabetically with their entry point and the classroom that they need to go to to get their uh, paper copy of their program, their Metro card, their new student ID. Uh, please note, that uh, we will begin to enter roughly at 7.45 a.m., but because it's the first day, there may be some delays, um, especially since kids now need to complete the health screening uh, at healthscreening.schools.nyc. You must do so every day. Uh, you'll receive some additional information on that as well. So with that, I can't wait to see you all, and I'm gonna send it back to Mr. Proudfoot to answer some of your questions. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. White, and thank you to all of our administrators and to Principal Becciano for partaking in this homecoming event. Uh, hopefully by now you've had most of your questions answered and you have the information you need to get started on day one. Uh, I would, however, like to touch base on some of the questions uh, that were pre-submitted by our students and by our family. Now, the number one piece of advice that I can give you right now is 
please, please, please make sure that you are logged into your pupil path and that your email is working and that you're checking it every day. That's where you're going to uh, find all of the information coming from us. If you have any trouble getting logged into either one of those, you can reach out to our tech liaison, Mr. Juan Sanchez, or to our parent coordinator, Mr. Anthony Gonzalez. Now you can find uh, any staff member's email address on our website on the staff directory at any time. So that's an important place to find lots and lots of resources about our school. Now, some of the uh, big questions that were asked uh, by our students in advance. Uh, one of the first ones was, is there a remote option anymore? And the answer to that is no. Uh, the Department of Education in New York City um, have chosen to go with a live instruction, uh, in-person uh, instruction throughout the year. And so there is no remote option uh, for students. So there's no, uh, you can't opt out to uh, go home. Um, as far as what school's going to look like, that was a big question is, uh, is this gonna look like it did last year? Are we going to be on the computer all day? The answer to that is no. Uh, the plan is for you to go to all your classes. It's gonna look a lot like it did before COVID, except really with masks uh, and certain social distancing protocols. So really just picture yourself moving from class to class uh, with your students, uh, with your fellow students and, um, and wearing masks and honoring uh, some social distancing and safety protocols. Um, uh, the other question that was asked was vaccines. Are vaccines required? And Mr. White uh, talked about this a little bit. Vaccines are required for all staff members, but they are not required yet for students. They are highly, highly recommended to come back and be safe uh, and protect yourself and your families. It is highly recommended that all students get vaccinated and you'll have an opportunity with parent permission, you'll be able to do that in our building. Um, and consult your doctor on that is the best piece of advice that I can give you about vaccinations. Okay, uh, another question that was asked was Google Classroom. Are we still gonna use Google Classroom? We used it quite a bit last year. Uh, the answer to that is yes, it's still going to be an important part of the education process. Not in the same way as last year, where it was the central hub and all the information came through there, but now it'll be used as, a, as an additional resource and also as a uh, extra protocol in case of a quarantine or um, hopefully not, but a shutdown. So yes, Google Classroom will still be a part of the class and your teachers on the first day will talk to you more about how specifically they are using it in the classroom. Uh, we d there were some specific concerns around things like physical education and um, the arts classes and what is uh, what are the safety protocols and what is that going to look like. Unfortunately, I can't give you a ton of specifics on that except to say um, that the protocols of three feet whenever possible and wearing masks at all times will be followed. This is a Department of Education rule and those will be followed. There will be, I imagine, more specific um, for each individual studio. There'll be some more specific guidance coming from the Department of Education. Uh, we are still waiting on that, and I imagine we will have that before Monday. Uh, okay, so those are those specific concerns. A lot of questions were asked about supplies, um, ID cards, Metro cards, what do I wear for gym? Um, all, all of those kind of <clears throat> uh, important information that students would like to know before they come in. Uh, most of that is going to be dealt with all in the first week of school. You'll get your Metro card, you'll get your ID, your teachers will talk about specific supplies for uh, specific uh, courses. Of course, like we always recommend having a, a binder with some paper, although we are moving more digital, it's always, um, uh, it's always important to have those resources with with you for certain classes that you're going to need it. Uh, so we do recommend, you know, a binder with five sections for, uh, with sections for each of your classes. That's always a, uh, a really important thing to have, an important tool. Uh, a question that we had was around after school programming. Uh, students want to know, are we still going to have clubs? Are we still gonna have sports? And the answer to that is yes, uh, we are planning to do that. Uh, as far as the specifics of which clubs will be available, which sports, all of that depends on our students. Every year, um, all of our after-school activities are based around student uh, demand. And so uh, when you come in, we'll, uh, we'll have our club fairs and we'll have all of those important events where students can talk about you know, what, uh, what activities they wanna be a part of. So be ready to get back and, and to interact and to socialize again um, um, in, the, in the way that we did before. 
So after school programs will resume. And uh, oh, big question, VIP program for our incoming uh, new, or new students. Uh, the VIP program is one that's very popular in our building and that is uh, where students get to go out to lunch. And now you have to earn that um, and the details of that will, will be out. But typically in the past, it meant you know, having a high GPA and good attendance um, and all the things that go along with being a good citizen at Brooklyn High School of the Arts. Um, so a uh, VIP program will return. Uh, it won't return the first week. It's going to uh, take time. It'll probably be after the uh, first marking period. But look for more information on that as it becomes available. So those were some of the major questions that uh, were asked uh, and pre-submitted. Uh, again, I think we've covered most of the information that you're going to need uh, just to get to the building and get started. Um, but of course, you'll have lots more questions and I do encourage you, please come on in, stop by our offices. Our doors are always open um, and we're here for you. Uh, should you have any further questions, you can also email us. Um, all the administrators are really strong about getting back uh, to our students uh, when they ask questions. So uh, we look forward to seeing you again on Monday and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And it's gonna be a, it's, it's gonna be a unique year. It's gonna be an exciting year. And uh, we can't wait to offer you all of the amazing opportunities uh, that Brooklyn High School of the Arts has to offer. Talk to you soon. I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Hey yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. I'ma get a scholarship to King's College. I probably shouldn't brag, but that guy amazing, astonished. The problem is I got a lot of brains with no polish. I gotta holler just to be heard with every word I drop knowledge. I'm a diamond in the rough. A shiny piece of coal trying to reach my goal. My power speech unimpeachable. Only 19, but my mind is older. These U.S. city streets get cold. I shoulder every burden, every disadvantage I've learned to manage. I don't have a gun to brandish. I walk the streets famished. The plan is to fend this spark into a flame. But damn, it's getting dark, so let me spell out my name. I am the A L E X A N D. We are, we are meant to be A colony that runs independently Meanwhile Britain keeps spitting on us endlessly Essentially, it tax us relentlessly Then King George turns around, runs a spending spree He ain't never gonna set his descendants free So there will be a revolution in a century Enter me! He says in parentheses Don't be shocked when the history book mentions me I will lay down my life if it sets us free Eventually you'll see my ascendancy And I am not, not thrown away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Hey yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Hey yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. It's time to take a shot. I dream of life without the monarchy. The unrest in France, elite the anarchy. Anarchy, how you say? Or anarchy When I fight I make the other side panicky with my shot Yo I'm a teller's apprentice And I got y'all knuckleheads a local parentis I'm joining a rebellion Cause I know it's my chance to socially advance Instead of sewing some pants I'm gonna take a shot And but we'll never be truly free Until those in bondage have the same rights as you and me You or I do or die Wait till I sally in on a stallion With the first black battalion Have another shot Our Geniuses lower your voices You keep out of trouble and you double your choices I'm with you, but the situation is fraught. You've got to be carefully taught. If you talk, you're gonna get shot. Bird, check what we got. Mr. Lafayette, hard rock like Lancelot. I think your pants look hot. Lower inside like you a lot. Let's hatch a plot blacker than the kettle calling the pot. What are the odds the gods will put us all in one spot? Popping and squatting conventional wisdom, like it or not. A bunch of revolutionary men, you mission abolitionists. Give me your position, show me where the ammunition is. Oh, am I talking too loud? Sometimes I get over excited. Shoot off at the mouth? I never had a group of friends before. I promise that I'll make y'all proud. Let's get this guy in front of a crowd! I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Ayo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry. And I'm not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Hey yo, I'm just like my country, I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. Everybody sing! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey! Whoa, whoa. Woo! Whoa. So let them hear, y'all! Yeah.
Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I said shout it to the rooftops. Whoa. I said to the rooftops. Whoa. Oh, come on. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Rise up when you're living on your knees. You rise up. Tell your brother that he's got to rise up. Tell your sister that she's got to rise up. When all these colonies gonna whoa, rise up. Whoa, when all these colonies gonna rise up. When all these whoa, colonies gonna rise up. When all these colonies gonna rise up. I imagine that so much it feels more like a memory When's it gonna get me? In my sleep seven feet ahead of me? If I see it coming, do I run or do I let it be? Is it like a beat without a melody? See, I never thought I'd live past 20 Where I come from, some get half as many Ask anybody why we living fast And we laugh, reach for a flask We have to make this moment last That's a penny Scratch that, this is not a moment, this the movement Where are the hungriest brothers when something to prove when Foes opposed us, we take an honest stand we Roll like Moses, claiming our promised lands. And if we win our independence, does that guarantee the freedom for our descendants? Or would the blood we shed begin an endless cycle of vengeance and death with no defendants? I know the action in the street is exciting, but Jesus, between all the bleeding and fighting, I've been reading and writing. We need to handle our financial situation. Are we a nation of states? What's the state of our nation? I'm past patiently waiting, I'm passionately smashing every expectation, every action and act of creation. I'm laughing in the face of casualties and sorrows for the first time i'm thinking past tomorrow and i am not throwing away my shot i am not throwing away my shot and you i'm just like my country i'm young scrappy and hungry and i'm not throwing away my shot not throwing away my shot not throwing away my shot we're gonna rise up rise up rise up rise up rise up rise up Take a shot, time to take a shot, and I am not throwing away my, not throwing away my shot.